Messy notes don't inspire action. Every launch starts with a dock full of bullet points, scattered ideas, and reminders. But before your team can run with it, it needs structure. That's where Vengage's AI One Page Generator comes in. Today, I'll show you how I turned my raw launch notes into a clean, shareable one pager, complete with sections like why now, who it's for, benefits, launch checklists, and metrics. Let's go. Okay, so what I'm starting this one page with is about five bullet points from our latest feature rollout. They're quick reminders, what we're launching, why it matters, and a few numbers that we want to track. But they're definitely not just some bullet points that you want to throw in your Slack group or an email with zero context or direction. So let's turn this into something visual and shareable. So we're starting on Vengage's AI one pager generator. I'll link it in the description, or you can click the link above. In the prompt field, I'll paste this prompt. One pager that includes feature rollout, why now, audience, benefits, checklist, metrics. And then I also pasted my five bullet points. So rolling out new smart dashboard to beta users, main goal, improve retention and onboarding visibility, target early stage teams and growth managers, mention integration with Notion and Slack, and then a metric 20% increase in active users by month end. So what I'll do is click generate and Vengage will begin generating our design. Okay, so we got our draft back. Let's bring it into the editor so we can take a closer look at it. I'll just click customize here. Okay, so here is our full draft in the Vengage editor. So we have a really nice header that's labeled feature rollout, smart dashboard. We have a why now, our main goal. We have some really nice broken up sections. So we have audience benefits and integration section. We have our feature rollout checklist and we also have our success metrics. So as you can see, it also noted some of the context that we gave it in the prompt. So you can see that in the integrations, it says through Notion and Slack integrations, we have a nice checklist. It also noted that our audience is early stage teams and growth managers. And then down here at the bottom under our success metrics, it also noted to achieve a 20% increase in active users by the end of the month. So it hit the mark on everything that we asked it to in the prompt. So now what we're gonna do is brand this. I like the design now, but if we go to the brand kit, we could actually brand this under the Maker Thrive branding. So what we could do is we could shuffle through these palettes. I think that looks great. You could shuffle a couple times, include the different colors that you like in your brand. I could add my logo so I could throw the Maker Thrive logo up here at the top. Maybe make it a bit smaller. I could have that above the header. And then I can also apply my font. So we use Poppins and Enter. So I could add my fonts here. And then for the paragraphs, I could add enter. And you could see that it's all updating. So now everything looks completely branded. It looks great. And then I can go ahead and close this. What I'm gonna show you next is how you can adjust all of the text with the AI text generator. So if we take a look up here at the top under why now, we have a really nice explanation but let's say that we wanted to adjust this and make it more professional. I can click into this text, go to improve text, and I can choose from a couple of these, make shorter, make more professional, fix spelling and grammar, or I can prompt the AI with a specific prompt. So maybe if I wanted to make it more friendlier, if I wanted it to be targeted to stakeholders or internal teams, I could put that in here. So I'm gonna choose make more professional and then it's going to give me the updated copy. So now I have to deliver immediate value to our beta users through enhanced data visibility and more intuitive onboarding experience. I can easily just replace this section and my text has been replaced. I could do the same thing with this main goal, improve user retention and gain clear visibility into the onboarding process. Let's say we wanna make this more friendly. I can enter that make it easier for users to stick around and get a clear view of their onboarding journey. I love that. We can go ahead and replace this and you can go through and adjust this for the entire design. So I just wanna show you that that is an option. So the next thing that we're gonna look at is our design feedback. If we go to AI tools and click design feedback, this panel opens on the left-hand side and the AI is going to analyze our design and suggest any edits that it would make to make this more visually appealing. So as you can see, it's examining color schemes, it's checking layout principles, evaluating typography choices, and then it's going to give us some suggestions. So let's take a look at some of these. Improve readability of success metrics circle text. 
Text within the black circles in the success metrics section is nearly invisible due to low contrast. Use a lighter contrasting color and larger font size to ensure all metrics are clearly readable. Okay, great suggestion. If we take a look down here during success metrics, we have some of the text to different colors, some of the text is cut off. So let's go ahead and adjust this. Primary metric should be in the font black. And as you can see, when I change colors, it also is automatically analyzing if it's a good contrast. That is super helpful. Now I can make this text larger and this 20% increase is also very important to us, which we know because I noted in the prompt. So what I could do is actually go to highlight and I can add a highlight behind this and make it white. I can make the spread a little bit larger so it's easier to read and then I can make this larger. So this is showing that this is our main success metric. I can make all of this text a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and select those. And then we'll just have to adjust a few of them. Look at another one, increase font size for all body text descriptions. Many descriptive text blocks such as those under why now and within the feature cards are too small and large the font size to improve overall readability and reduce eye strain. Okay, so we can go ahead and make these a little bit larger. Let's change these to 16. And then I can do the same under all of these. We can make these 16 as well so that they are easier to read for everyone. Okay, great. This is some really helpful feedback. This is things that maybe I wouldn't have caught on my own. So I really appreciate that this is an option. And then once you go and make some more design edits, you can always rescan your design and see what it comes up with after that. So now let's take a look at some of these icons. I like these, but maybe some of them don't really match. The target audience I think is great. Key benefits looks good, but integrations, this doesn't really tell a story or represent the integrations. Thankfully, Vengage has a huge icon library. So let's look up Slack since we have a Slack integration and look at this. They pulled up Slack's logo. I can go ahead and replace this icon here so that it makes more sense. If we take the look at these again, it shows us recommended, it has collections, we have basic shapes, connecting lines, human resources, office essentials. There is a ton of icons to choose from in here. We have all these different UI styles as well. So make sure you're incorporating some of these icons into your design. So I think this looks really good. And before we export it, let's make sure that everyone can read it. I'm gonna go up to file up here at the top, go to accessibility and then check accessibility. I'm gonna begin running this accessibility checker. And what this will do is flag for color contrast, flag font sizes and text clarity. So as you can see, we failed our text size. It's telling us that larger text sizes may be easier for viewers with vision impairments to perceive. While there are no accessibility guidelines for text size, we recommend using text sizes of at least 16 pixels. So it noted which text box that it's explicitly talking about. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so it's talking about this one. This one, as you can see, yep, it didn't get updated. I must have missed that. So let's go ahead and change this to 16. Now we pass it. So we have everything passing and once everything's passed, we're good to go. So this is super helpful. It ensures that everyone on your team is able to read the designs that you create. So now that we're done, let's go ahead and export this. We can go up here to download at the top and we could download this as a PNG, a PDF, a PowerPoint, email, HTML. You probably only wanna download these as PNGs or PDF since this is a one pager. And PDF is great for internal decks, or if you wanna upload this to Notion, or you can download it as a PNG so you can share it in your Slack group message. So I'll download this as a PNG and let's take a look at this. This looks amazing. So we went from just a bunch of scattered notes to this, a polished brand ready one pager that communicates everything at a glance. That's how easy it is to turn rough launch notes into a shareable internal brief in just minutes. Vengage's AI one page generator saves you hours of formatting and designing every week and gets straight to the main focus so that you and your teams can work on what actually matters. Try it for yourself. The link is in the description below. If you found this helpful, make sure you check out my last tutorial where I visualized launch week data using Vengage's AI graph generator and be sure to subscribe to the Make Your Thrive channel for more tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.